Alright, here we go. Here it is. Uh, I'm still waiting for my apps. So. Taking a there no oh, no that's your broadcast from three weeks ago never mind. Well, I should be showing up soon, so it's probably just uh, loading in. Yeah, I think the PlayStation. Out. Oh, there it is, live. See the, see the engine. Uh, it's still. Um, you will in a minute. <laughs> There it is. Oh my god, you're looking around everywhere. Oh, there it is. Good thing I'm not drunk. Oh, you're drunk. <laughs> hey, I haven't had a drink all day yet. <laughs> yet. Let's start, though. <laughs> you know what? Let's stall out. Do a post-stall maneuver. In an A-10? Okay. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, you, you call yourself a good pilot? You well, I'll put it this way. I just kind of did one, but... <laughs> <laughs> did you see the um, uh, Top Gun uh, sequel trailer? Yeah. Yeah, they got a little fun post-stall uh, action going there. That's gonna be pretty sweet. Oh yeah. It's a little I'll late though. The, uh, you mean just uh, how how uh, long they took to come up with the sweet yeah. sequel? Yeah. 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 I gotta hard. say though, it's um. <laughs> I gotta say though, I mean like uh, <laughs> it's like with the modern graphics and stuff and, oh, yeah. and computer stuff. Let's put it this way: like you look at the Star Wars movies, for example, and uh, I, I feel that the prequels, you know, like George Lucas was definitely way uh, ahead of his time. The, yeah, <laughs> but the thing is, you look back at it now, and and like a lot of the, the it looks the cheesy now, graphics, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, and I think that's I why, like, I think that's why yeah. he kind of made the uh, the special editions too, you know, to update the, yeah. the graphics and, and the quality of it and stuff like that. So. But I, I you know sometimes I gotta say like some some the the graphics in Battlefront too like some of those actually look better in terms of lighting and and the the quality of just like the textures than than the stuff you see in those movies. It's just ridiculous that you know they're probably just spending millions upon millions of dollars to like on you know big computers to do all that stuff. And these days like we're running this stuff directly well, on our uh, well. I mean, if you think PS4s. about it. Though. If you think about it, though, I mean, it's a sign of the times, though, too. So it really it makes sense, though. I mean, you know, I mean, look at the computing. Look at look at uh, Commodore 64 versus, you know, and at its time, it was it was basically the uh, the highlight, you know, because nothing was like it. Yeah. In in its day, yeah, for sure. now it's like <laughs> and. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's. I, mean, I just think it's funny when you compare like. You know the standard thing where that's sitting. You know we're all sitting in front of our playstations. You know and uh, versus you know it, it's not just you're not comparing our playstations to the consoles of the year 1999. You're right. comparing the playstations what they do live to big rooms full of computers pumping away 24/7 right. to do a single frame. You know. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna give you a look at this cockpit of the A10. So. Pretty cool, though, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to see, at least on my screen, with the lighting, because, I mean, the sun's really bright, and so uh, it's sort of, like, a little dark down there for me. Right. But, uh, I mean, I uh, I guess that's sort of realistic. You know, you gotta, you're got flying directly into the sun, pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see if I can try to make it a little brighter for you. Oh yeah, get some sunlight on it. Get the right angle. You know, I'm gonna close, I guess. That might help. 
Yeah, I gotta say, like, the, the PlayStation uh, VR goggles, too, um, the... Um, you know, it got two little LCD screens in there, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's old hardware, right? You know, we're talking about, like, the advancement of technology. Like, modern mobile phones have these super nice displays with um, HDR and everything like that. And so I would love to see what Sony or Microsoft or whoever do with, like, the next generation of consoles with VR. Well, I don't think Microsoft is going to get into VR. Yeah, but yeah. I think the best thing was they, they were attempting to do was, I think it was the Hilo, HoloLens, if I remember right. But uh, that's about it. Oh, here we go. And I got a little bit more lighting. There you go. Yeah, uh, it's definitely an interesting thing about it because, um, you know, it, it, oh yeah, yeah, I can totally see the cockpit now. Oh, look at that! Got all that shit going on. <laughs> Wait, can you look down at your legs and then do a little yaw control? And yeah, see if look, that, look, look, look. I'm doing it right now for you. Yeah, well, it's gonna take get... a few seconds to show up on the screen, but I'm just curious if it shows like little. I mean, I, I guess I would see your knees moving or something. Yeah, you'll see him. <laughs> That's funny. But is it is it, like I said? It, that that attention to detail. I mean, wow. I mean, you know, how, how could you not love it? Well, it's definitely at a level of attention to detail to uh, sub modes that. I mean, honestly, I think I'm not sure how many Ace Combat players end up getting to VR. But, you know, you don't see any of that going on when you're flying um, just uh, without VR. So they, they definitely just decided to put in some more details. It's sort of a love project. But Oh, yeah. I'll, yeah I'll... <laughs> I, I guess one of the things I do wonder about VR, though, is, like, is it ever going to really, really take off? You know, I mean, like, the technology is definitely going to be there to, to make it great, but... You know, maybe some people will just always want to stick to just looking at a screen I or think, I doing think, some other way. I think it really just depends on the player and what they want. I mean, you know, like we were talking about before, you get the right game and VR it will work. I mean, flying games, racing games. You know, any, yeah. like we were talking about before, anything, anything with, with a cockpit works. Yeah. So, so the one. You know, with VR stuff, like, there, there are technology limitations that you can get around, right? Like, old VR things, you know, the the, the visuals, you know, the, they weren't really sharp. Um, maybe the head tracking would be a bit slow, and so you'd kind of get sick. But there's always going to be that fundamental issue, at least with the current way they're implementing it, of the fact that you're seeing a lot of movement, and mm -hmm. you're not feeling it. And so a lot of people sort of get turned around. Yeah, you know, in the way that, oh, my plane is banking right, or my car is, you know, banking left. And I'm skidding out. <laughs> you yeah, know, and yeah. The thing is, you can you can see it, and it's you know, it can be really realistic to your eyes, but if your body is not feeling the same thing, yeah, then it's you get all desynchronized in in your your brain waves. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just something that people will get over. I think it's really like I like I was saying though. Some people just don't want it, you know. Maybe they have yeah. maybe they have mo motion sickness, you know. Yeah. And I mean that's that's a that's a, a a great way of looking at it. But what about the people who don't get motion sickness? I mean, do you punish do you punish you know uh, the people who want it versus the people who don't want it? I mean. Yeah, I mean ultimately though, like making video games are getting more and more expensive every year because you know getting the budgets for you know all the you know, building the graphics, getting you know actors and stuff, that shit. Like the budgets are like can be hundreds of millions of dollars for like a triple A game, I think. And when you're spending that much money, you have to make sure that it's appealing to enough people so that you know you make your money back, right? Right. And the thing is, like, if only let's say. Um, you know, only 10% of the gaming population is interested in VR. It might just not work out financially. I right. think it's also like why a lot of big budget movies, they'll try to cater to absolutely everybody, you know, just get a huge audience in. And, uh, so well, I think, yeah, but I think that's why Ace Combat actually kind of did it right. Because, you know, you know, it's like, look, if you wanted VR, 
we're going to give you some VR stuff. We're not going to give you the entire game, though, like you may want, because that would have been freaking phenomenal. Yeah. To do to do uh, the entire campaign, yeah. and because that's 20 missions in VR. It's like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> right, but but at the same time, like it's it's still you know a a small thing. You know, it, it's just a fun little package. What, what's the Battlefront 2015? It's like 15, 20 minutes of fun, which is great. You know, it's a great demo for VR, mm -hmm. but it's not something that's gonna you know keep you hooked in for you know people. Plenty of people will play Ace Combat multiplayer for hundreds thousands of hours they'll redo the campaign missions over and over again what what are they like 20 campaign missions 21 yeah yeah and they'll play it play it again with like let's do the guns only run let's do uh you know all s ranks let's do uh blah 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 you know just do machine it gun run. In an okay. a machine gun yeah machine yeah. gun run yeah so um, i mean you but... have you have everything you have m multiple replays basically i mean that's what it amounts yeah. to yeah and uh, I guess you can start to do that with the VR missions, but it's uh, it's it's still not something I, I feel that you know just from a pure content and gameplay perspective, like it's not really enough. I mean, look, look at the three missions, right? Months straight, and uh, I don't really think so unless you've just. Re